welcome back. So today I thought I would do a new what's in my handbag video. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while and I've also recently switched from a very very small handbag, I've been using small handbags for the past couple of months, to a big handbag again. And I always think there's no point in doing a what's in my handbag video with a tiny handbag because the video would be like wallet, keys, phone, done. Um, so I have recently switched to a new bag and I'm also really excited to show you this bag because I'm very, very excited it is a new purchase. It is the Prada double bag, which looks like this in black with red lining. So I actually ended up selling my Chanel executive tote, which I've done a What's My Bag video with before, if you guys remember that. And it's very, very similar to this bag. With handbags, I do love my designer bags and I do have quite a few bags, but I do have a rule that I always make sure that they're different, so when I'm buying a new bag, and when I was getting this one, I've been eyeing it up for about a year, um, it was just too similar to my Chanel one really, it's a very similar shape and the straps are similar, um, with the obvious difference of the red, but then it is also a little bit taller, it's about this much taller, so the Chanel one's a bit more rectangular. Um, so I decided to shell, sell the sh uh, sh I decided to sell my Chanel one and buy this one as a replacement, and I'm really happy with it. I know that will be controversial because some people will prefer Chanel to this one, but I'm really happy with it. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and talk you through the bag. It's gonna be a little bit of a bag review as well because um, this I know this is quite a desirable bag at the moment. There are a lot of people that want this, um, including I was one of them until last week. So um, yeah, if you guys are interested in the bag as well, I'll talk through that uh, a bit at the end. So what is in my bag? Starting off, I'm just gonna pull things out, and I haven't really organised it. It's fairly obviously because it's a new bag. It's fairly organised, but first thing that I keep is a pouch and this is one of my favourite things because it says there is absolutely no one on the planet I'd rather spend time with than my dog. It should be than my dogs because I actually have three dogs but I use little pouches like this to keep anything kind of small that might either scratch the bag or leak or something like that. The first thing that I keep in here is one of my favourite little gadgety things and that is a fold up hairbrush with a mirror in it. This one is from Denman and I've had it for ages. You can buy these in boots for about £2 or something like that but they are so so useful because they work as a compact mirror but they also have a hairbrush. I always keep a concealer in my bag. Normally I keep a concealer, a lip product and an eyeliner but I don't actually have an eyeliner in here at the moment. I must have moved it. But at the moment I've been trying out the new Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer, which I like so far. I haven't decided 100% about this, whether or not it's a favourite or not, but I have been enjoying trying that, so that's my concealer that's in my bag. And then I have another product from Urban Decay, which is one of my current favourites, which was in my last monthly favourites video, and this is Sheer Liar, which I'm actually wearing at the moment. It's just a perfect kind of everyday wearable kind of pinky nude natural tone. Then I have um, some paracetamol just a couple in case I get a headache or anything. I also like to keep spare contact lenses. This is an essential for me because I wear contact lenses pretty much every single day. And the last thing is such an extravagant product but I'm so in love with it. It's a lip balm and it's from Creme de la Mer. I think I've spoken about this once before. This is my favourite lip balm ever. That is everything that is in my little makeup pouch. I know people probably thought I would have more um, than that in there, but that's what I have in my makeup pouch. I then also have my wallet. I actually have a receipt from last night in the front here. This is from Nando's. Went to dinner in Nando's last night and I didn't want to keep the receipt, but I only had my wallet when I went up to the till, so I popped it behind the little bow on the front, which is quite useful because it reminds you to throw it away, so I need to throw that away. This is my Chloe wallet. I got it at Christmas uh, from Vista Village. It was actually part of the replacement um, for my Christmas present from Mike, so it's kind of part of my Christmas present from Mike. I really love it, it's like a nude pink colour with a big black bow on the front, and then obviously I just have all my cards and bits and bobs in there, um, nothing really exciting to show you, a dry cleaning receipt that I need to go and pick up my dry cleaning. And then I also have another little pouch in here, and this one was actually a gift from my friends James and Izzy, and it is a little yellow suede pouch that says more is better Lisbon and they gave this to me as a birthday present it's so dirty now because I've used it so much I use this to keep all of my tech technology items in. So um, I have my portable phone charger. This one is actually from Monster. I have so many of these because I am always running out of battery. Although I have to say the new iPhone, the iPhone 6, is so much better than the iPhone 5 at running out of battery. So I haven't used it as much, but I always keep one on me just in case I'm out all day and I run out of battery. I then have my headphones, which I use a lot when I'm on the go. I don't really use them at home at all. Um, and I use them obviously when I'm traveling, but the most 
um, common reason for me to use these headphones is actually because if I'm editing on the train or in a public place. I also have an iPhone cable as well um, to charge my iPhone. I also do sometimes have my portable Wi-Fi in here. However, at the moment it is in my house because I actually use it for my uploading at home as well because it's quicker. Um, so it's not in there at the moment. What else do I have? I have, this has actually been in my what's in my bag video since I first started. I did a what's in my bag I think in like the first week that I started YouTube five and a half years ago and this was still in there. This is my Mulberry um, travel holder and it basically has my Oyster card in it. This is so out of date. I used to have a student Oyster card. They still work but I don't get the discount off it anymore and it ran out on the 1st of July 2010. That's how old this Oyster card is um, but I've had this wallet for ages and I just really love it. It's so dirty now and kind of distressed and used but I still use it all the time when I'm going on the tube Then I have my car keys which actually have um, a really special keyring on them this is a mulberry keyring and it is a gold star if you guys watch my videos a lot you'll know I love stars I absolutely love them they're like one of my favorite things and this was a gift from my friends Holly and Becky for Christmas this year and I just love it I think it's so cute it's the only keyring I have on my keys because I actually keep my house keys separately which are here and these are obviously just house keys, but the key ring on here is from my sister and it's a B. He's a little bit shelled now and he's a little bit old, but I've had him probably since we moved into this house, so nearly two years ago. And um, my sister and a lot of my family call me B as a nickname, I don't know why. Um, it came from Flurby, but I'm not entirely sure why Flurby came to exist. Um, but yeah, that is my B key ring and I love him. Then I have a load of receipts. I think Mike must have put these in my bag from last night. Because these are from um, the cinema, we went to see X Machina. It was really good but kind of odd. If you guys have seen it, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of that movie because um, it was quite intense but pretty good and, well really good but just really intense. And then I also have an umbrella, obviously because I live in England and it rains all the time. This umbrella is amazing because it's teeny teeny tiny, um, it folds up and then you put it in here and it's just really really good for having in your handbag and it doesn't weigh much at all either so good i really really love it so then i actually keep two books in my bag and the first one is my diary i always keep a paper diary and whenever i go into meetings or anything everybody always comments on it because they think because what i do is on the internet that i will have all of my kind of agenda and everything planned on my computer and i totally don't i love having a paper diary so much this one is actually from paper chase i know it's probably quite late in the day but you might still be able to get them and i really love this i love the color it's almost like a steely gray lilac color and i know it's very practical and i've got a few marks on it already and i'm only like a month in but i do really really love this i also keep a little notebook this is my current one which i love this is from Smithson and I love Smithson notebooks they are so so lovely and they're such a luxurious little little thing to have most of the time I have them um, I've got them as gifts because they are pretty expensive this is a personalized one that I got as a gift and it says Fleur on it which is so special I've never had like a one with my name on it before usually they have like motivational um, kind of notes on them my last one had make it happen and it was bright yellow which I really love and I actually still have some space in that so I'm still using it. I'm like a notebook fiend. I write notes all the time and to-do lists. And then I also have a little pen in here as well. This is a silly sausage dog pen and it used to actually have a little squishy nose that you could use on your iPhone but I never used it anyway and it came off. But I do use the pen all the time which you pull the sausage dog's bum off like that and then you can write I think this is cute so I keep that in my bag as well then I have my phone obviously and the case is from Casetify and it has lots of my favorite pictures on it um, from the last kind of year on Instagram and I also have my vlogging camera now if you guys don't know I vlog every day every other month and I had a bit of a break in the past year and didn't do that same schedule as much but I'm starting to do it again this year so I'm vlogging every day at the moment this is my vlogging camera um, it is the Canon S120 and it is so beaten up this camera gets so much action because when you're daily vlogging it's kind of like in and out of your bag like getting thrown around that kind of stuff I actually dropped it on Christmas Eve on the church floor in the carol service and it's kind of broken the top but I never use the flash so it seems to still be working and um, it's just really scratched and dead but it's 
works really well. I really, really like this camera for vlogging. If you do daily vlogging and you're looking for a camera, I like this one. The last thing in my bag, I can't believe we're done already, are some sunglasses. These are actually new ones that I got as a gift from a friend of a friend who has set up this sunglasses company. This is what they look like. They're much smaller than I normally go for, but I really, really like them because they're customizable. The company is called Staple and Ford, or Staple and Ford? Um, Staple and Ford, I think. And you basically kind of choose which color you want um, here and here. They're not 100% customizable because there is a fairly limited um, selection of colors. So it's like quite muted colors. There's not brights or anything. But I went for the matte black arms with the speckled tortoiseshell frames and what I really like about this tortoiseshell is that it has flecks of turquoise in it which is really nice and then they have the blue um, bit above the nose which I think is their like signature thing so yeah they are my sunglasses that I've been using at the moment so that is what is in my bag now to talk about the bag itself so this is the Prada double bag and it is in black with red lining this is actually the medium size I believe they do small medium and large or those are the only ones that I've actually kind of seen and looked at when I was buying this the large one is slightly cheaper than the medium one confusingly but the reason is um, that it doesn't come with a long strap so this one comes with a long strap that attaches on the inside personally I don't think I will ever use the long strap because um, it's quite a hefty bag to have or like wear over your shoulder or over your arm um, and this also fits over your arm as well really nicely even when you're wearing a coat which was another thing with my Chanel executive tote that was really tight to fit over your arm when you're wearing a coat you could do it but it was quite tight whereas this one fits quite nicely over your arm this is the medium size so the small one is a little bit small for me but the big one I would have got the big one but it was actually like quite big looking if that makes sense obviously it's big but um i'm five foot three and i felt it was a little bit too big for me anyway so i went for the medium one this is the color that i had been eyeing up and i think it's the most popular color according to the girl in the shop and um yeah so it was in a lot of the ad campaigns when they first launched this style of bag it comes with the strap clip here which you can use to go around and clip the two straps together like that so that it doesn't kind of flap open it's also like a little bit more secure if you're carrying it around people can't really get their hand into it the reason it's called the double bag is because it is divided into two like this so you have the two main sections which are really really roomy and then the section in the middle which is what I really like about the bag I actually haven't kept anything in this yet because it is really flat um, it has like a separate section which is magnetized that you can look into there so this is actually just um, a very slim kind of pocket the only thing I would ever keep in here to stop it is quite big like it covers the whole area of the bag so it, the pockets like this big but it is very very narrow the only thing I would ever really keep in there is like receipts or memory cards or something very slim that isn't going to like dishape dis the bag because um, I wouldn't want to do that and then as you can see at the sides as well it actually is held together with poppers so you can unpop these if you want a bit more room and you want to be able to kind of really open up the bag you can unpop the sides this isn't something I would really tend to use a lot or I'm not planning on using it a lot because not only is it bad for your back to carry a lot of stuff in your bag which I am I have been guilty of in the past and my shoulders do not thank me for it but also because it's easy to kind of stretch your bag out of shape a little bit if you do that so yeah that is it probably for the um, little overview of the bag I really really like this I think it's a total classic absolutely love it and I do prefer it as well to the original Safiano tote which again is a little bit more structured so it has zips but it's also um, a little bit more squat so it's not quite as square as this so yeah that is it if you guys have any questions about the bag or what's in the bag then let me know in the comments section below I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already checked out my monthly favourites from January, then go and check that out. I will link it right after I stop talking. And I will see you again very soon with a brand new video. Brand new videos on this channel every single Monday or Friday, if you didn't already know. And like I said before, I am daily vlogging in February, so if you want to go and check out my daily vlogs, I will link my vlog channel below. And yeah, I'll see you guys again very soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye. I know I mentioned this in my previous video as well, but I also like to use the Sephora um, triple action cleansing water in the morning so even though I've taken off all of my makeup um, the night before and properly cleanse my face sometimes I still get